Juntos Together. That's the name of a new mural in a popular part of central El Paso. Hello, I'm your host, Ricky Saias. We're going to tell you more about this mural and other stories in this edition of Your City in Five. Let's get started. There may be some cats that have little inflammation around the eyes. The El Paso Animal Services is focusing on reducing the stray cat population. Through the Community Cat Program, the shelter is offering free spay and neuter services for El Pasoans who have feral cats in their neighborhood. With cooler temperatures already here, the shelter is increasing efforts to get as many cats spayed or neutered before litter season kicks up in the spring, but they do need your help. We've established the Community Cat Program, which practices TNR, which is Trap, Neuter, and Return. Um, it involves the community trapping, um, free Mormon cats and bringing them to our shelter where we spay and neuter them, also give them a microchip and vaccinations, and then return them back to the community that they came from. Spaying and neutering community cats is the best way to reduce the number of cats and kittens living in neighborhoods. The program is open to anyone who wants to help and learn how to care for neighborhood cats. This really helps us with population control for these cats. Again, that way we can reduce the population of feral cats within our communities and also help spread of diseases throughout these community cats. For more information, on how to get involved in the community cat program, visit elpasoanimalservices.org or send an email to communitycats at elpasotexas.gov. From cats to crashes, your input is needed on how to make our streets safer. Vision Zero El Paso is hosting an open house on Thursday, December 8th at the Trans Mountain Campus of El Paso Community College. It's an opportunity to share ideas on severe and deadly pedestrian, bicycle, and vehicle crashes. Vision Zero El Paso is an initiative to reduce crashes in our community. The City of El Paso continues communication and community outreach by inviting you to be part of the Neighborhood Leadership Academy. It's an 18-week program where participants learn how city government government works by taking part in field trips to public facilities and hearing from city leaders. We establish a bit of a cohort, if you will, for them to attend weekly presentations and tours of city facilities, um, really uh, the programs and initiatives and how really the city of El Paso operates on a day-to-day -day basis. Space is limited, so register as soon as possible. The deadline is December 8th. The program starts January 11th and it's free. For more information, call the number on your screen or send an email to neighborhood services at El Paso, Texas. Gov. In case you haven't noticed, the mural along Geronimo behind Bassett Place is now complete. Now the colorful mural reads, May the sun and earth nourish us each day of our lives. May we walk in beauty. May we walk in peace. Local artist Mitsu Overstreet, along with other artists, spent about 10 weeks painting the mural that sits in the Valley View Heights neighborhood. It has a Native American theme that represents togetherness. The idea to create the mural came from neighborhood residents, interviews, and surveys. Now funding to create the $150,000 mural came from a city ordinance that sets aside 2% of every capital improvement project for public art projects. A ceremonial unveiling of the mural is set for later this year. You can spread holiday joy and make someone smile this season by taking part in the virtual gift giving tree. All you have to do is visit the website on your screen, purchase a gift from the list, and then wrap it and take it to any of the four participating fire stations. The deadline is December 9th. The campaign, by the way, is led by the Community and Human Development Department to provide gifts to those in need. Speaking of giving, Winterfest continues to warm hearts. The lights at San Jacinto Plaza turn on every day at 5 p.m. through January 1st. Every weekend, there's holiday performances from 6 to 11 p.m. You can also take free pictures with Santa every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 6 to 10. And don't forget about ice skating at the rink. Visit Winterfest on Facebook and Instagram or epwinterfest.com for more information. We're out of time on this edition of Your City in Five from Central El Paso. For Jose Solis, who's behind the camera, I'm Ricky Saias. Stay safe and please be good to each other. We'll see you next time on Your City in 5.